Hi guys, welcome back to my... Why am I looking down? I'm a little nervous. Welcome back to my channel, and today is a really fun, I guess, story time, or... Yeah, I guess story time, but I'm also gonna be playing with some new makeup. Was... That was Penny. Um, I got some makeup by Mario, my little NARS birthday gift, Glossier, Pat McGrath. She wants dinner. You're hungry? It's still too early though. She's not gonna be quiet though. Ugh. Okay, go ahead, eat. Uh, anyways, oh, but the story time I'm gonna be saying, sorry my bangs are getting along too. Today's story time is gonna be how I met, how I met, what it was like, how it went, what it was like, meeting Fabrizio from The Strokes, my all-time favorite stroke. Well, okay, like I say, he's the one like I take home to my mom and then Julian is like my side piece. Anyways, I'll tell you guys about that because I had a lot of questions. Anytime it involves like meeting a stroke, I get popular and I get like, I don't know how to act. <laughs> Put a poll on my Instagram asking like what foundation I should get because I ran out and I have really dry skin and I needed something like just to give me an even base so I went for the Dior Backstage foundation I got the color 2N I shade matched myself so hopefully I did a good job this is the packaging, this is my first ever Dior product it's so pretty. Oh wait, focus. So, so pretty. Just shake it. So, it turned out Fabrizio, well I saw on, I think it was Instagram, he was doing a art exhibit where he curated some pieces and he was also working on some art himself. So I was like, I wonder if he's going to be there. And. I told Victor about it and he's like, well, let's go. The art piece itself looked really cool anyways. Oh, I think that's a good match. It's a little light, but it's okay. No, it's, it's pretty even. I think my forehead's just dark. We'll find out. So Victor is like, it's a cool art piece. Even if he's not there, it's still gonna be cool to see him or see the art. Cause it was like a, a giant mirror cube thing. I like mirrors, so. Anyways, that was the art piece. It was on Friday, I believe, in Beverly Hills, which is a good like hour away from Long Beach. So it took me a while to get there. We woke up early, we left around, I think it was nine. I believe nine. Oh, this came out really nice. It feels like nothing's on my skin. I know sometimes the light exposes me. But that's how the coverage is. That's really light coverage. Now oh, it's really dark. I got this. It's um, the Pat McGrath Skin Blurring Under Eye Powder. I got it in the color medium because the other one seems really light. I don't know. It just says Pat McGrath Labs. And then this is the shade. It has a little mirror in it too. Cute. I'm just going to put it in my T-zone. That mirror is really tiny. Wow. My mom convinced me to get this one. Oh my gosh, it's good. You can't really see it in person. But it's blurring my little forehead wrinkles that I'm getting because I'm 25 now. I do recommend if you're like a medium light color to get the medium because the light seemed a little too unless you want it for like brightening I just wanted it to set my makeup not really highlight too much because I'm not a big fan of the bright under eyes so anyways back to Fabrizio we left at 9 30 and we got there around 10 30 ish there was no traffic thankfully and parking was a little bitch because I 
we couldn't find parking but luckily because it was right next to rodeo drive anyways we found parking and the first 50 people to get there got like a signed poster from fabrizio i have it but i want to get it because i'm i'm flattening it out so i can hang it but i need to buy like the poster thing i'm using the makeup by mario palette i haven't bought a new palette in forever these are the colors they're all matte I'm gonna use the burgundy shade and do kind of like a smoky eye. I'm gonna use this brow gel, the Benefit one, just because it's what I can find. Um, the people online were cool. I kind of miss old strokes Twitter fans back like when Threat of Joy dropped because there's something about that era that makes me feel like at home. But a lot of like drama happened with like strokes twitter i remember i don't really remember much of it but there was drama that happened and no one like stuck around or like they like different things people grew up blah 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 um so i didn't really know anyone in line but the girls behind me were nice enough to make some small talk which was cool luckily the event uh you had to show your vaccine card to get in so and everyone wore masks which was really comforting because you guys know me. Oh yeah, so we waited, it opened at 11 and they let us in, we showed our vaccine cards. I'm gonna use concealer to use as like a base for my eyeshadow. I was really nervous at this point. I brought my brother and Victor along with me. I've always wanted to meet Fabrizio. He's like Everyone knows he's like the hardest to find because he's so low-key. He has no social media and I think like he used to stay in Paris a lot if I'm not mistaken. Now I'm not too sure. We walk in and he greets us. I was like so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, he's there. And he greeted us. I was like, he's saying hi to me. I tried not to pass out. And I was like, oh my gosh, hi. And I'm going to try my best to recall everything because I kind of blacked out at the moment. But I was like, oh my gosh, hi, I like your outfit. He was wearing um, this plaid, like tuxedo, not tuxedo, plaid suit moment thing. And it was so, so cute. Um, and his shoes, we kind of matched low-key. And he was like, oh, I like your guys' outfits too. But low-key, we think he just liked my outfits, but he don't want to make anyone feel bad. So he, I'm just going to say he liked my outfit. And then Victor just kind of like asked about the art pieces, which I wish I would have done, but I don't know much about art. I'm like, it looks pretty, but one day I'll get to that point. So he tells us where everything is and how to enjoy the exhibit. Everything there was really, really expensive. So they had us hold our purses, like not on our shoulder, just in case if we knock anything down, we don't have to pay like minimum. He said $80,000, which I don't have $80,000. We got to the little cube thing and we had to wipe our feet, which on this little sticky pad before getting in. It was really cool. It got me kind of dizzy, but it was a really cool experience. I think it's there till January. So if you guys want to go check it out, I really recommend like for a fun date night to go check it out. Before we left, I was like, okay, I have to take a picture with Fabrizio. At least like say something. Cause I'm not like, if like they say like pics or it didn't happen. So I had to do it. And then I went to go ask i was like oh can i but he knew i was coming so he was like all happy and warm and like oh hi blah. and i was like oh, he makes it so easy but like i was so nervous and he was like oh hi what's up and i was like would it be okay if i take a picture and he's like of course and i was like oh dear oh dear oh dear and um luckily my brother's chill and he's like oh you should take a picture behind the art exhibit and i was like okay cool I'm glad he said that because I was just going to stand right there like at the entrance and it wouldn't have been as cool as a picture as it is. And so my brother took the picture and he smelled so good like sandalwood, warm, like musky. How you would expect him to smell, that's how he smelled. Victor said he was like super respectful because he didn't want to like touch me, touch me until like I touched him first. Then he was like, oh, okay, cool. And so he put his arm around me and then like we took pictures and then I was like, I was such a nerd and I was like, oh, uh, good job. 
like I said, good job. Like obviously he knows he did a good job. Everyone there was really chill. Even though it was Beverly Hills, I was kind of nervous people were gonna be mean. But no, Fabrizio was really, really nice. I hope everyone who wants to meet him can meet him because he's really nice. My only stroke left like to meet, well I have to meet I think Nick and Albert. So I posted the pictures and I hadn't even told anyone I was going and everyone freaked out. They're like, oh my god, how did you get there? And I thought a lot of people would know about what was like happening because they posted it on like Twitter which I was like, great, it's gonna like be packed as hell and no one's, everyone's gonna camp out. I'm not gonna have enough time to, or there's not gonna be enough um, posters. I'm not gonna get a poster or whatever, but surprisingly, no. Okay, don't look at this eye because this eye was dirty, but it's good. It's a good palette. I like that color. I also have to take a picture for Instagram because Parade, sent me some really cute lounge shorts beautiful sparkly little eyeshadow topper so yeah that's my story with Fabrizio but if you've met him before comment down below I want to know what it was like meeting him like other people's experiences and I went to the Glossier store recently I got this blush it's the Cloud Paint in Storm. It's a really pretty color. And it's really pigmented. Oh, see, that's gonna be too much. Always happens. I'm gonna use this Kabuki brush. I wish it had like a little dual fiber brush to blend this, but, oh I do, but I think it's dirty. I got this Kosas lip oil in the color Jaws. This, I should tell you the color, huh? <laughs> this is the color Suburbia. Interesting applicator. It's cute. I kind of like it. But anyways, that's the look. I'll show you the shorts. It, it matches really well. These are Lululemons, but you can't see. Oh yeah, you can. These are the shorts. They're like a pretty plum color, so it matches the makeup look. They're kind of sheer though. Ooh, sexy. This is the color. Anyways, if you, if you want to shop, you can't hear me because I'm far away. If you want to sh that's my favorite lighting. If you want to shop Parade um, and support me, I'll leave the link down below. And thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. Bye!